Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Good. Good. Yeah. Spilled something. Spilled something? Yeah. A little smoothie? Did make a smoothie this morning. Mmm. As you can see, I did. I already drank mine. Look at you. How I always get double because like I share it uh -huh. and then uh, with my son and then I get, he does but finishes it. <laughs> so I get two. Two smoothie kind of day. Yeah. Well, it's really like one split in half, but I get the full half. I meant the full. <laughs> both halves. Uh, uh. One of those days, <laughs> this is one of those days where it's like you're ready to go and you're walking out the door and then there's cat barf on the floor. <laughs> so it's like, oh! Yeah. Oh no! I mean it wasn't bad. It was just, it happens with cats. Mm -hmm. But it's just funny because it's like today was like we were spot on with time. Mm -hmm. It was like got up at the right time, everybody did what they needed to do to get out of the house, and we were right on time, we were walking out, and that's like, cat barf. Cat barf. Because usually it's not that way, usually we're either late, in mm -hmm. that we get up late and do everything late, and are rushing, or we have too much time, we have too much time in the oh, morning, yeah. it's like you get up, you do everything you need to do, and it's like, alright, I just sit around and do whatever, and yeah. then it's like, oh my god, I gotta go! Yeah, definitely so. happens to me. <laughs> So today was, we had the right time till the cat barf. It was fine. It's all good. We're here on the way to work. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. So, um, hey, you know, we had that conversation recently. We were talking about Yom Kippur. Oh, it's like, we have a lot of conversations. I know. <laughs> right. We had a conversation about that thing that we said. Oh, yeah, that one. So, um, no, no, we were talking about Yom Kippur and how I really like it and you don't like it. And we never, by the time we got to work, it was an unresolved conversation. You know so. how I feel about those. I don't like them. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, that's the whole thing about closure that we need to talk about, too. Yeah. But you, you said you had, you know, you want to talk more about forgiveness and stuff. Oh, yeah. Forgiveness and stuff. Like, it's just like, yeah, forgiveness, stuff. sin. And all that stuff. Yeah. Really? Well, what's unresolved for you? Well, I don't know. We haven't really talked about forgiveness. That's true. We were talking about Yom Kippur. Well, which creates opportunities for forgiveness, but right. not specifically about forgiveness. Right. But also does not teach you how to forgive. What do you mean? Like... I don't know. I feel like forgiveness is like one of those like spiritual buzzwords. Like when you hear people say like when you forgive someone, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're condoning their behavior. Mm -hmm. You're just saying this is heavy and I can no longer hold on to it, which is like a really beautiful sentiment. Mm -hmm. But it's hard for me at least to practice. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's like the question is what's forgiveness for? Hmm. For yourself, for the other person. Or for the relationship. Yeah. Greater peace. And oh my god, a pug! <gasps> so I can keep my ass on the road. Oh yeah. Okay. Cute. Feeling great. I'll have to try. I just took a cute little selfie with my pug. Uh, I'll show you. I'm so excited. Yeah, who is the forgiveness for? I don't know. I feel like in religions we talk about forgiveness all the time mm -hmm. but it's sort of just this like I mean like forgive them right it's like, which I don't buy into buy into forgiveness no no just like <laughs> that it's that easy yeah that it's just about letting go because forgiveness takes work there's a lot of um, emotional and spiritual work that goes into it and just saying oh I forgive someone seems like a cop out yeah, I was going to say shortcut, but if you want to say cop out. Shortcut? <laughs> cop out sounds a little like... Well, oh. I mean, it feels like... No, that's not... I'm sticking by my word choice. Like... Yeah. No, no I just I was having a different one. Yeah, cop out. Yeah. Right, because you're not doing the work. You're just saying... Um, I don't want this anymore. 
yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm just going to, almost like, it's like, I'm going to forget this, like, I'm just going to put it out of my mind, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I don't want this, so I forgive you, whereas the echoes of the hurt or the the pain could still be there, right. and it's not necessarily dealing with it. Right, and it's like, it's okay for you to feel poorly about something. Like, if you, yeah. if you are hurt, like, it's okay to feel those feelings. Mm -hmm. And it's great, like, it's great to be able to come to forgiveness, but also, like, giving yourself a little bit of a break, saying, like, I don't have to feel, like, I don't have to instantaneously be like, oh, right. I'm, I'm actually okay. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Not I totally denying agree. yourself that. I totally agree. It's a goal. I think forgiveness is a goal. Mm -hmm. And, but it's a process. Yeah. And I mean, we can't just go, like, zero to 60. No. I and mean, just say forgive it and then it's no it's like it's the end result not like the starting point right i mean i wish that like there was just like a road map to like forgiveness if i could say hey rabbi like how does one forgive and you're like cool step one is this and then you move on to step two and then three but like it's messy that's the thing it's messy right. and messiness is like not always fun and not always something that like humans like to deal with right exactly but Right. I don't know. Messiness, sadness, hurt. Yeah. We don't like to deal with it, but we and need like, to be there. We didn't even talk about like forgiving yourself, you know, what that work looks like or asking right. for forgiveness. Like I have a lot of feelings about that. I'm just gonna tell you my feelings about this. Okay. Like I I'll put it in the park. <laughs> I I don't think that Yeah, Kirsten say it. I don't think, for me personally, that I need to pray to God for forgiveness. Because I believe that God, which I call the universe, loves me unconditionally. Mm -hmm. And it's about forgiving myself and understanding, like, accepting, like, wrongdoing or accepting, like, maybe I didn't behave so skillfully in that moment and I wish that I had behaved differently. Right. But then, like, saying, like, oh, it's okay, knowing that, you know it's okay to mess up right and then from that place of self-forgiveness I can ask someone else but if you're just asking if I'm just asking someone else to forgive me like that's not gonna solve it I think ultimate it ultimately it's about self-forgiveness does that make sense yeah it makes perfect sense and I agree with you I mean I think it's yeah it's a it's a bit of both I mean sometimes it is just about self-forgiveness because yeah. it's about maybe falling short for what our own expectations of ourselves. Yeah. And it's not necessarily about a relationship with another person, but it's about it's about that piece of it. And yeah, so sometimes they go together and sometimes they're separate. And I think that, um, yeah, it, it's messy. And, and I think that, you know, what you were saying, it almost touches on what how we understand prayer too. Because sometimes mm -hmm. it's not necessarily, because I think about prayer, it's not, especially like praying for forgiveness, that we're not praying for forgiveness, but we are, praying to ourselves in a way yeah, that we're like reminding ourselves mm -hmm. and that's why I like Yom Kippur because it's a it prov it's like a vessel it's not the only day yeah. that we seek forgiveness but it provides a sort of day of concentrated spiritual energy to focus on that work as a mm -hmm. reminder that we do mess up yeah. and that it's okay and that you know Yom Kippur it comes every year yeah. right so we're always going to be messing up yeah and seeking forgiveness for ourselves and and others and we don't do it just on that day we should be doing it all the time but it just reminds us of that and um yeah but i think you're right seeking that self-forgiveness might even be harder yeah and that's i mean just like point of clarification like that's what that holiday is about like is self-forgiveness like is that in there too i mean my main problem was like asking other people for forgiveness yeah no it's it's all of, it's the all of it mm. it's the all of it because some of it is deeply personal some of it is about relationship and healing those wounds and relationships and sometimes it is about just ourselves yeah i feel a little bit better now okay like good. more resolved that's good well you should never be fully resolved Right? Always more room for inquiry and growth. Oh, yeah. I'm such a curious person. I'm going to ask you, like, 20 questions when we get inside. But, like, yeah, I'm feeling like I have a greater understanding of, like, 
what that space is for, what that mm. vessel is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, yeah, I think self-forgiveness, it's... Because I also think we don't practice that as often. No. We focus more on the other or forgiving others or... Asking others asking to forgive Asking others. Us. Yeah, but, but seeing that as seeking forgiveness from ourselves in order to move towards greater wholeness. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, we gotta do the work. Do the work. And we're gonna do that work. We do that work, and that we'll work. Do this work. <laughs> that work, all the work. Just working it. <laughs> so good.